Well, good Sunday morning. This is just a little added extra video. I woke up this morning, it's early, it's like seven o'clock Eastern time here, and I saw the sunrise and I grabbed my camera and I was like, I gotta share this with you all. And then I thought, let me make some pumpkin bread while I'm at it and share that with you as well. Just to chat, just to touch base. Uh, I literally threw on a flannel shirt, so you're not gonna be seeing a lot of me, but this is just a good morning. Let's make some bread together. I'm making a pumpkin bread, and I thought this would just be wonderful to touch base with you, let you know we're thinking of you. So I wanted to just share this quick recipe with you, make some bread. It's chilly here this morning, but again, the sunrise was so amazing. So what I'm going to be making is just a pumpkin raisin bread. So to start with, I've got a cup of pureed pumpkin. This isn't pumpkin pie filling. This is actually pumpkin. So I'm going to put a cup of that, and you can buy pumpkin in the store in a can, which is exactly what that is. A half a cup of mild tasting oil. This is just vegetable oil. I'm gonna put in two eggs. I hope you all are doing so well this morning. I hope this day finds you blessed. We are heading to church in a little while. All right, so we've got two eggs in there. And then I'm also going to put in two thirds cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of sour cream. Let's mix this together. So I mixed it, and now I'm gonna add one and three quarter cups of flour. Such a gorgeous time of year here in the Northeast. And you know what, wherever you are, I am sure it's absolutely gorgeous too. I'm also gonna add a little less than a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. But basically what pumpkin pie spice is, is a little bit of cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, ginger. It just adds such a wonderful autumnal flavor to breads and cookies this time of year. I'm also adding a teaspoon of baking soda, a little tiny pinch of salt, just for the baking soda to rise. I'm gonna add a half a cup of raisins. You could add nuts, you could add raisins, chocolate chips, whatever you'd like. And I'm just going to mix this. And I am praying and hoping your day is just blessed today. You know, we're living in times that are so different than we are used to. So when I get into the kitchen and I do something, I guess what some people would consider mundane, which is cooking or baking, to me it brings a level of comfort. It brings a level of familiarity. And it just makes me feel connected, I think, you know, to the basics of life. So I'm just mixing this together until it is incorporated. That's all I do. You don't want to over mix quick bread because it becomes tough. So now I'm just going to put this in a 350 oven, nine by five inch pan, and I'm going to bake it for 50 minutes and then we'll check it. So it's in a nine by five greased pan I always keep a shaker of sugar in the raw in my cabinet. I like to add it to quick breads on top. Just a little sprinkle. And what that does is it just crisps the top. When you bite into that soft piece of bread, you get that little sugary glaze on the top. It's scrumptious. Okay, we're gonna put it in the oven, 350 for 50 minutes and we'll check it. So this cooked for 15 minutes, I checked it and it still wasn't done. So I let it go for another 10 minutes. So it was just about an hour and it came out perfectly nice and clean. Now I'm gonna let this cool in the pan for 10 minutes and then I will take it out, put it on a rack to cool, but I'm not gonna slice it as hard as that's going to be. And if you cut a hot loaf, 
it's going to fall apart. I'm super excited to share this with you. I wish you were all closer. I would have you over for a cup of tea and a slice of this delicious pumpkin bread and we would share our day. The original recipe I will post down below in my description box. I switched things up as I always do. It called for honey. I used brown sugar, but I will put the original recipe down below. This loaf came out beautiful. I'm so excited to just slice some pieces for Paul and I. It rose beautifully. We're going to let it cool as hard as it is. It smells wonderful. Thank you for sharing a little bit of your Sunday morning with me. I appreciate it. I just had it on my heart to just be with you guys for a little bit. So I hope that's okay with you. You know we wish you blessings. Another thing I wanted to tell you is I get a lot of emails asking if I have a P.O. box and people wanting to send me a little card or a note, which I so appreciate, that's lovely. My P.O. box is always linked in the description box of my videos. Just so you know, that's where it is. So thank you again for being with us, for spending this time. Have a beautiful week. I'll see you on Tuesday. God bless you, and we wish you blessings. Bye-bye.